free, right? The hero, everybody. How you doing today? It's the Kanye What Tree One Pie here with the Constable Deck profile. So sexy today. Oh my god. Oh, it's happy. Okay. Anyways, so here's my Constable Deck profile. It's extremely viable, and I think will be maybe top tier. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. I'm playing this deck, and it's sexy. And I only play sexy decks. Everyone knows that. So I might play this in the next regionals. I do not know. So calm down. Uh, but anyways, let's get right into the deck profile. So you play the Triple Chaos, Triple Polux, and Triple Al Guide. Is that what it's called? I'm not really sure. But yeah, Triple of these guys. I saw this one deck profile where the guy ran none of these. And I was like, holy shit, what the hell? You're on the crack or something? Damn, son. Like, his reasoning was because Maxi exists. I think that's a horrible reasoning. I'm like, no offense to that guy. But just because one card exists, you're not going to play this. This card gets so many plays off, I think it's so crucial. And I think just because Maxi exists is not um, a viable reason for not playing this card. Are you not going to play Mermails just because Macro Cosmos exists? You know, look crazy, you know. Okay, I'm done ranting about this. Just play this card, it's good, so. Well, yes. Next we play the Triple Sombrero, the Mexican of the deck. So sexy, oh, Sombrero, ho oh, ho, I want that hat. Okay, anyways. Yeah, this card's broken. Enough said. Now we play Double Sheraton. Um, I thought this guy did the little titty bounce. You know, I thought it was pretty bad. But uh, I realize this card is actually really good. It makes the deck much more consistent. It searches out freaking Sombre. You're Mexican. Like, it searches out the Mexican. Like, it's just so good. You cannot play it. It makes the deck so much more consistent. I know it's like only 700. but And also like a level 3. But it's too good not to pray. You know, Stratos is banned. So, you know, we got two Stratoses right here. Pretty broken. So, but yes. Next, we play one Thunder King. Really good right now. Good against so many decks. You know, Spellbooks, Spoojins, Firefist, like, just so many decks. One Bear. Personally, I really like Bear because it baits out a lot of cards. Um, it baits out your opponent's Song Mornings, Bottomlesses, and, like, if they don't stop this card, you just keep plussing. So, it's really good. And one uh, Alfred Tig. And for the spells, we pray the triple tanky. I know one's common. Calm down, guys. I'm sorry, mom. But yeah, if you have another one, hit me up. One rota. Ooh, so good. And then triple MST. Pretty back row heavy, so, you know, have to play the triple MST. And more back row hate. Double lance. Like, this deck does lose to uh, freaking back row. So I do max out on this shit. Uh, I don't max out on lances because it can be kind of a dead draw, but. Um, Double Lance is working out extremely well. Uh, one Book of Moon and one Dark Hole or Boraco Negro. Oh ho ho ho! Or Barack Obama. For the traps, we pray the um this card, this card, this card, and this card. Uh, Compose, Bottomless, Torrential, and Soul Morning. If you don't know what these cards are, then you're the Satopit today. So yes, for the doubles, we play the two chines. Yeah. Um, double D Prison. And double Spiegelcraft. Spiegelcraft, whatever it's called. I only like two chains. I'm not really liking the third because, you know, this card's always titty bounceable by the Praden, so, you know, you can keep recycling it, which is broken. Um, so I only like two. Two's working pretty sexy. Double D Prison, double Mirror Force. I really like this combo because there's certain cards where this is especially good against and certain cards where this is especially good against. So, um, you know, the little double double is just working so sexily. Next, we play. Call the Haunted is so good. You can just, you know, reborn a Sombre, and you can just keep recycling the Sombre with the Pleiades. So, it's like, really broken. It's like, unlimited rank 5s or rank 4s, whatever. So, I love this card. Lastly, we play the 1-7 tools. This card is so crucial, I think, especially in this deck. Because this deck is so uh, susceptible to back row. So, this card is really important. And I play this over Trap Stun because this card is spell speed 3. And that's becoming more and more important. Um, not only for Solemn Morning, but also because of the popularity of Divine Wrath. A lot of people are um, maining Divine Wraths now. And, you know, that card is gaining much more popularity. Because people are realizing how powerful that card really is. And that card is a spell speed 3, so you can barely ever stop that card. Um, because, like, no one plays, uh, like, Dark Bribe and, you know, Solemn Judgment's banned, sadly. So you gotta play this now. And, you know, this card's won me a lot of games, so it's really crucial. And, you know, Divine Wrath can just change the game. So, yeah, having the ability to stop that Spell Speed 3 trap card is really important. So, you know, 7 tools, so good. Now for the sexy extra deck, we play the 1 Gores token. Don't play Gores, but too sexy not to pray. 1 Gaia Dragon, 1 M Sehun, 
Um, double prey buddies or prey bins, so you can do the tippy bounce. So sexy. One Tiras. A lot of people are cutting this, but I personally just am in love with this card. You know. So yeah. One Volcasaurus. One Shark Fortress. Double Omega. One Presby. One Maestroke. One Star Leech. One Abyss Dweller. One Cowboy. Bang bang skeet skeet hippity hoppitus. And uh, one Zen Mains. So the yes. And the two rank fours are coming out. The uh, Noble Swarm guy. And number 101, so I'd probably cut the Zen mains and one other card for the two rank fours. Looking at probably the Omega, not 100% sure yet, but I'd probably cut these two for the two really broken exceeds that are coming out in Legacy of the Valiant. So, but yes. Now for the side deck, we're playing one Kaiku. Uh, it's good against Bujin, Spellbooks, um, what else? Chaos Dragons is really good against. So, but yes. Um, double Fossil Dyna. This is just against those decks that spam a lot, like Karkuris, Gear Karkuris, whatever they're called, um, Mermails, and shit like that. People just run into this blindly, so yeah, it's a good card. Double Smashing Ground, I really like this card right now. Um, it gets you out of like these soft locks. Um, it gets you out of uh, Abyss Gaios. Um, the Mirror Match against Pleiades, it's really good. You can just you know destroy the Pleiades, it's really important. Um, because, you know, having to have to deal with the Pleiades is just like... You can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, this is a one card out. It's really good. It's also good against Bujins because you can get over the Yamato. Uh, because Turtle can't stop it because this does not target. So that's a very sexy. Next we play one uh, Dimensional Fissure against, I guess, just Mermails, pretty much. Next, one Zombie World. Now, this card is really good against um, Bujins because this turns all their monsters into zombies. You know, what the hell are they going to do with a zombie? So yeah, it's also good against spell books. Just make sure you activate this after they activate their tower. And um, if you have an MST or something set, this card can be really, really powerful. Um, like, basically your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore if you have the MST set and this, so they can't activate the tower. So so good. Um, and then the double mind crush. This is against like pretty much everything. You can pretty much side this in against every deck right now, and it just will put in work. Speaking of work, one overworked. It's a really good card right now against uh, Fire Fists, Bujins, and maybe Insectors, I guess. One Soul Drain. Um, one Macro against, you know, Mermails, Insectors. One Imperial Iron Wall, I guess, against Bujins. I might take this out, though. It's not as good as it was last format. Uh, one Dust Tornado, and I'm testing a Trap Stun. So, well, yes. So that's about it for my very sexy Constera Deck Pro. Conste oh my god. Oh, the twosome. Let's make it threesome. Oh, threesome. Oh, they're so happy. So sexy today. Oh my god, it's a party in the house. Um, but yeah, that's it for my Constellar deck profile. Please like the video, subscribe, and dump a comment down below so I can do the dancing. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.